He did what he had to do. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly why I was always saying, surprised that he picked him because you feel so much emotion. You think everybody's your enemy. Ryan Garcia just left Golden Boy and furthermore joined Mayweather Promotions. And boy Oscar De La Hoya took that personally. Our man lashed out on a Mayweather Promotions affiliate, injuring him and getting injured in the process. You heard that right? Stick around and find out more. Remember when Ryan Garcia, after all those clashes with Oscar De La Hoya, decided to drop a bombshell? He called out De La Hoya live, said his goodbyes to Golden Boy and joined Mayweather Promotions. You could almost hear the jaws dropping across the boxing world. And then, as if that wasn't enough, Oscar De La Hoya decided to take matters into his own hands. He straight up assaulted an affiliate of Mayweather Promotions live on air. Picture this. A brutal fight where both sides got their fair share of knocks until the security squad played referee. Now you might be wondering about the aftermath. Oscar's nursing some injuries, but there's talk of another lawsuit headed his way. Yep, you heard it here first. Another lawsuit to add to the collection, along with the ongoing legal tussle with Ryan Garcia. De La Hoya, though, doesn't seem to be learning from his past. He's still throwing shade at Ryan like it's a never-ending feud. These two have been at each other's throats for months, with Golden Boy Promotions even filing a lawsuit against the rising star after his loss to Gervonta Davis. And that's where it all began. You know, the post-fight press conference after Garcia's loss to Davis? He called out De La Hoya for ghosting the conference and all hell broke loose. Oscar fired back, and it turned into a back-and-forth exchange that's straight out of a reality TV show. Also absent from the press conference was Golden Boy partner Bernard Hopkins, although President Eric Gomez was present. Talk about a chaotic aftermath. De La Hoya, never one to let things slide, took another jab at Garcia. This time, it was about a picture Garcia posted on Instagram, hanging out with none other than Floyd Mayweather Jr. You can almost see the smirk on De La Hoya's face as he writes a facetious comment underneath the post. Good seeing you with the guy I beat, wrote De La Hoya, who has consistently maintained he deserved to eke out a win over Mayweather. The comment comes as Golden Boy filed a lawsuit in June against Garcia and Garcia's manager, Lupe Valencia, regarding the status of Garcia's contract with the company. Golden Boy sent out a press release telling outlets that it is seeking to ensure that Ryan and his team will honor the remainder of his contract. Recently, according to Jason Cruz of MMAPayout.com, Garcia's legal team filed a motion to dismiss. Mayweather himself spoke positively of Garcia recently. He said in an interview with FightHype.com that he would absolutely promote Garcia if he was, in fact, a free agent. Despite the bad blood, De La Hoya recently stated that he expects to announce Garcia's next fight soon. Pictures of Ryan Garcia enjoying the WNBA game between the Dallas Wings and Las Vegas Aces with Floyd Mayweather Jr. in the crowd have made significant news. And why shouldn't it be so? Unfortunately, his relations with longtime promoter Oscar De La Hoya have turned sour in full public view. On top of that, he now faces a lawsuit for taking steps to break away from the contract with Golden Boy Promotions. Thus, speculations are rife over King Ryan next move. On his part, Floyd Mayweather Jr. can welcome the young boxer into his stable. However, as he shared during an interview, it is subject to certain conditions. Thompson highlighted the rumors that followed the duo's meeting. Mayweather Jr. clarified that he stays away from such shenanigans. He gave examples of legends like Marvelous Marvin Hagler, Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran, and Tommy Hearns under the top rank banner. However, with a grain of salt added, So if I signed, but I'm not looking to sign Ryan, but if you want to sign and he's free, I'll sign him. But if I'm not mistaken, he's under contract. So you know you always got to make sure things are worded right before you get a lawsuit or before you get a letter from a boxer's promoter. An inspiration for the character Cuddy on The Wire, Calvin Ford tells it like it is. The trainer of WBA lightweight champion Gervonta Davis, Ford has been with Davis since he was around seven years old. Together, they have become unstoppable. Ford looks to continue Davis's undefeated run when Tank faces Ryan Garcia in a catchweight bout on April 22nd. The fight is inside the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas and will be another PPV event for Davis, at one point the Golden Goose of Mayweather Promotions. Davis vs. Garcia will be available via Showtime and Days in PPV in the U.S. Serving 10 years behind bars after a stint as a lieutenant in a drug distribution ring, Ford helped run the Herring Run Recreational Center boxing program. 
There, he saw the potential of Davis. Now 28, with 26 knockouts to his name, the three-division champion faces Ryan Garcia in a fight described as the battle to determine the future of boxing. Ford has implored everyone not to sleep on Davis, as he has a simple game plan to take down Garcia. The energy that I want from that night is to hurt Garcia so bad, Ford said during a media scrum, which included the sporting news Andreas Hale. Hurt him so bad when everybody leaves the offices they say, gosh, and the rest of them behind them want to think about it. They don't give us our props. We don't want no props. We want to show them this is boxing. We're going to show you. We don't know until we get in that ring. We don't know what type of energy he's going to bring. Y'all say Garcia got speed. Y'all say he got power. It's a difference when you got the same guy and they got the same thing. This fight, man, let it all hang out. We don't care. Go out on your shield. A pro since 2016, Garcia joined Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy in 2016. Working with Canelo Alvarez and Eddie Reynoso, Garcia's career skyrocketed. He eventually got a new team but signed a five-year extension with Golden Boy in 2019. Ford became a father-like figure to Davis. The two helped push one another to be the best they could be. I would say he was dominating in that round, but he was coming on real strong until he got pulled with that shot. So the way how they looked at it, the way like it would be between the judges, they might have even or gave, gave that round to him. But Kenny... The former believes his relationship with Davis and how he has gotten booked surpasses Garcia. He believes Golden Boy is prepping to leave Garcia high and dry on fight night. That is especially true if he loses. They don't believe in him, Ford told Hale. It's like a sacrificial lamb that they putting up right now. If y'all look at it, he's acting. He ain't get that strip. Okay, now it's time to go out there and fight. Yeah, Ryan believes in himself. He believes in himself because he got the fight. That's the s I want to conquer right now. That's his strength right there of, I got this want. I wanted this fight. Okay, the fight's here. Let's see. Do you really want to fight? Heading into fight night, Davis and Garcia put out a bet on Instagram Live about the winner taking both purses. It appears that is not happening now and Ford believes Garcia should be a man of his word. His team might be a factor in it not becoming a reality. It's like a lottery ticket. We win, we win, we lose, we lose, Ford said about Golden Boy and Garcia. We go off into the sunset. We got this lottery ticket here. We got Gervonta Tank Davis. If we win, we hit the lottery. If we lose, we still won. That's why we want to put everything up, so a person can feel it. If we win, we go home. Woo, woo, woo. But then you lose, you lose, and your pockets are empty. It's a difference. If you say you really believe in your team, put it up. Put it up. With social media buzzing about this fight and an expected sellout, Ford sees this as a changing of the guard bout. He guarantees we will see boxing at its finest. The promotion is over. Now comes the actual fight, the true test of one's character. So stay tuned, because when it happens, we will be the first ones to let you know. Peace out.